safely and the safety of his passengers passionately. Good engineer. Great engineer. And it turns out a prolific writing engineer. Brandon Bastian appears to be a blogger posting comments on train safety dating years back and pushing on posts for the nation's railway systems to do better. In response to a fatal crash in Chatsworth, California, in which another engineer was texting, Bastian, who wasn't involved, writes about the safety technology that would have prevented that crash, and ironically, his. At any point over the previous 80 years, he writes, the railroad could have voluntarily implemented some form of this technology on the line where that fateful wreck took place, but instead, it took an act of Congress to get them to do it. In yet another post, he apparently writes of his frustration. I wish the railroads had been more proactive from the get-go. The reality is that they have had nearly a hundred years of opportunity to implement some sort of system to mitigate human error, but with a few notable exceptions, have failed to do so. I honestly don't know. Xavier Bishop was on Bastion's Amtrak crew. Bishop was a flagman, and in hundreds of routes, says Brandon Bastion's routine of safety checks never wavered. He's very thorough when it came to work. I was at his paperwork. You know, he was always on time for the briefing. Half the times he was there before us, but he was always on point. And as you told me, mm -hmm. that includes an hour before the train, checking everything out, especially checking the brakes. Yes. All these things are checked. Yes. You know, and make sure the brakes are on point, make sure everything is good, check the horns, you know, because you're not responsible for this equipment for until you get to your destination. Aaron, one thing we did learn from the NTSB today, and that is that an inwardly facing camera might have solved this whole mystery of an engineer who can't recall.